Hey everybody, today we're going to do breakfast at Hardee's. <clears throat> Here's obviously the logo for the Hardee's uh, company, which is uh, the parent of Hardee's is Carl Jr.'s. And then there's some burgers of the great American, what in the world? Pioneers of, of the great American burger. And then on the side there's some of their uh, information. On the other side it says recycle. But today we're doing breakfast. And so I chose today the steak and gravy combo. Basically, it's a it's a um, chicken fried steak with gravy on a biscuit with hash browns or tater rounds or whatever they want to call it. Oh, hash rounds, yep. Right there on the receipt. It's a one steak and gravy CBO, as they call it. Medium hash brown hash rounds. And one medium beverage, with a total of five ninety four um, after tax. All right. It says Bogo sausage and egg biscuit, but I don't see. Oh, I see. It's probably based on the survey that you do. You know they have those surveys where they give away a free item, but in this particular case, oh yes, it, it's. Uh, after you do the survey, you have the ability to get a small drink, a small uh, hash round, or a small fry. Okay, so let's get down to business. Here's the uh, napkins. Here's the hash rounds. I'll bring those up to the camera. And obviously, you know, they're pretty good. I wish I had some ketchup, but we're sitting in the car. <laughs> And they don't have those little cup ketchup, ketchup cups or what have you. That's awesome. And today's feature is Sprite. So we have, uh, you know, all the pretty typical stuff that uh, is on the bag, except uh, on a white uh, background. A little better colorization there. Okay, let me uh, try to get rid of that real quick. And there we go with that. Get a wet our whistle real quick. And finally, the steak biscuit. not exactly a pretty situation but it is definitely warm so you know I just recently uh, picked it up and as you know Hardee's or Carl Jr's or what have you it's the made to order just about like everybody else some days when it's ooh see there's even gravy on the paper to where they just poured the gravy on top of it after they placed the uh Sauce on uh, the steak on onto the um, biscuit, and as you can tell, it's ooh, it's actually really warm. Bo and it's not even bordering on hot. It okay, it's hot because <laughs> I you know I'm holding it and it's uh, coming through the paper. Let's see if I can take a bite. Wow. Country fried steak biscuit sandwich in the morning. <clears throat> I don't, I'm not sure if there's any place that actually offers this <clears throat> in a fast food capacity uh, anymore. I know that um, Chick-fil-A offers uh, like little sliders, but they're but they're not chicken. I mean, they're, they're not steak. Sorry. Um, no, it's McDonald's. They they offer the steak bagel, but we're doing Hardee's, and it's it's still hot. <laughs> That's why I was stalling. So let's go in for that second bite, and hopefully we get a cross section of what it looks like.
There we go. That's an amazing piece of steak right there that's been chicken fried with the gravy on top of it. And you can see it on this side oozing through plus the biscuit. Now the biscuit overall is kind of dry. But it is offset by the gravy, which almost negates the, the dryness of that biscuit. The flavor, though, is, is incredible. The, there's a butteriness, even though it's very dry to the biscuit. <clears throat> and the steak, it's, you know, the, the outer crust really comes through. Do another close up there. And we have a walker coming by. <clears throat> Might see him in the background. Yep, there he is. It's actually hard to put this down, but I uh, had to get a drink. <clears throat> hmm. See if I can open it up here. Not in the least. The gravy has effectively become a glue. And it looks like um, the cook, and I, I saw the guy behind all the counter, the, the um, that covered area where they slide all the uh, sandwiches and fries through. He covered it both top and bottom with gravy. Not saying it's a bad thing. <laughs> huh. Throw that away. pile of tater rounds just went into the into the bag there we go that's that's most of them I think so here I'll use my bad hand there we go yep I'm going to use the support of the weak arm on the tater rounds and we'll go through these as you can tell I'm, I'm really hungry this is early morning I thought I had an appointment so and it uh, it fell through
So we're doing a food review. Hmm. <laughs> Classic look, classic taste. <clears throat> I've seen these in stores before, you know, like well, grocery stores, if you will. <clears throat> I'm not necessarily certain if they're manufactured in the same facility. I'm sure the process is there. But they are good. <laughs> Do a little fat flash there. Three more to go. Good. So what did I think about the uh, steak uh, ba uh, steak bagel, <laughs> the steak biscuit, or rather steak and gravy biscuit <clears throat> combo from Hardee's? I'll give it two thumbs up. Even though the biscuit in and of itself was dry, the gravy was a good compensator for it. The flavor of the of the crusting on top of the steak itself was very good. Ooh, excuse me. And uh, the only mistake that I really made was getting a Sprite instead of an orange juice. <clears throat> but it is what it is. And that's it for this video. Like and subscribe. Share with your friends. And I'll see you next time. Take care.